Lilia hasn't heard from her agent in Stellar Bay recently. Retrieve the information he's holding on the salvage location. Deliver it to the Catherine Malin in Fallbrook. Well, we haul ass all the way back up to there again. I think we covered more or less what we're going to cover in there. Max's quest has now taken us back off planet. And we've got, we got a lot of balls in the air right now, so I kind of just need to pick individual things. Pick an individual thread to if follow. you were in charge, would you keep the board around? Of course. Even with all their faults, they are the best chance to maintain order in the colony. I suppose I can appreciate the structure of things. Long as the folks at the top have got the right heads on their shoulders. They're both talking about the idea of keeping the board around. Max keeping the board around is completely unsurprising. Poor Braxton. I don't want to think about it. Eaten by cannibals? What a way to go. I put up with the constant stink of fish because I don't want to think about what's outside those walls. I know. Just imagine if they fell. It'd be Amber Heights all over again. That's it. You owe me your month's ration of Debilaroll. Oop. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you expect Max to say that kind of stuff. You kind of hope for most characters to be like, yeah, I'd get rid of them in a heartbeat. Because they're kind of the worst. We're going around. Okay, actually, I actually need to go through that front door. There's no side path that gets us in there. Hello. That's interesting. Uh oh. A crumpled note found the corpse of a stellar in Stellar Bay. Most of the text in this note is obscured by blood, but you can make out the words Lilia and passcode antidiluvian. That's a geology word, but it's one that I don't remember that well anymore. Don't look at me! I'm definitely wondering where the hell this, where, where this goes. I said the ruins, but I'm just like, I'm not sure what to expect from this entrance. Is this going to be like a secret path we use to break in later? Maybe? Oh. Ah, it's just a door over here. Hmm. I find myself wondering if we're going to use that to break in if we choose to help them take over, which I'd prefer not to. I really don't want these two factions to duke it out. I'd prefer to avoid that. Where's the food place? Oh. Way the hell over there, apparently. Interesting. I guess we'll follow that up in a minute. <clears throat> I thought I got that guy to start baking them. They were going to be done in an hour. Wasn't I supposed to come back? But I didn't, I don't know, I didn't see a spot on the map that really shouted, I am the bakery. I don't remember where it was in town. And the objective points to the other side of the map? I'm curious about that. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. Efficient, clever, ruthless. I like her. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Sure.
Actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. I found a passcode on a corpse in Stellar Bay. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her, not me. He was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. Right, the Alte Vite stuff that Lilia mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Remind me what Alta Vite gas is exactly. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. To find safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Are you kidding me? Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? No problem. Nyoka's handled mantisaurs before. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer. Parvati will handle it. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. Best of luck, Fixer. Best of luck, Fixer. All right, we're gonna need a little hot swap. The Vicar might also be good at what they're doing, but I probably should just bring in, should probably just bring in uh, Parvati and Max at the same time. And then I'm then I'm set either way, and I'll have, and I won't have to worry about it. Don't have particular reasons to bring other characters around necessarily. Teleporting to the unreliable. And then walking right back out. Uh, well, I did stuff for Pravati. I should check guys. when, check There's in. Only one toilet on the ship. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Your hiding spot's basically the largest and first room that you can access when you walk in the ship. You met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say.
Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. That don't stop Felix. You just gotta come up with the worst name for him. Until there's like an arms race of horrible, horrible names. And then I win because I'm the only real person. The end. <laughs> hey guys. Is it? Maybe I'll just do a lap again real quick, or was it the yacht club? Something else I can do for you? Not you. Nah. There's a food guy. I'm not. I'm not crazy, right? The yacht club. Wildlife Emporium, Zeng's Emporium. There's two places called Emporiums, which is not helpful. Right, that's the Wildlife Emporium, isn't it? Is the guy just standing there selling chunks of animals? Yeah, and there's Zeng's Emporium. This could be it. There we go. I see you stuck around. Why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than 10 hours long. It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Seems like you'd want more than centimeters. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum, but that spaceship has flown. Ever thought about leaving Stellar Bay? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Why don't you just tell me? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here, no one's gonna hire me. That sounds rough. Even talking about it does my blood pressure up. I've really gotta stop. I'm off. Lucky you. Oh gosh, my tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Mr. Ouch. Yo, where my food at? I see you stuck around. What do you have against this town? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantis? The... I thought it was you. Am I completely misremembering the entire quest? I could have sworn he was like, Alright, alright, I'll do it. It'll take an hour. And like, I think I took a nap since then on accident. But even if I didn't, I've definitely... It's been like a few episodes, so it's been hours. But it's pointing me over there now. Just funnily enough, the same place that's pointing me towards, so I guess we're going there. Uh. That poor dandy being taken away by the rough behemoth. Oh, heavens, the vapors. What am I going to do? The philosophist Winston is coming and getting me. 
Meanwhile, like half the internet is so beyond that point. They're like, that's my fetish. I need to upgrade you. Two of points available. When Pravati performs her ability, recharge some of your tactical dilation meter. Wow, I sure wish I used that. Nah. She probably should just give her more health. 20% chance to reset ability cooldown on a kill. When they get the killing blow. Reduce harmful effects, but only for them. Increase damage dealt by this companion after a short time after performing the companion ability. Nice. That's pretty alright. Every time they do their ability, they didn't do 25% more damage for a while. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. This episode and the next episode are going to be probably a little shorter than normal. Like 50 minutes. Although I guess you already know that. It's just the time I have at the moment. Oh god, I, I can't tell my guns apart visually. Three is my main one, two is my rifle. Gotcha. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Stick your head up. There we go. That's enough of that. I figure it's like the opening stealth attack, right? It probably does a bunch of bonus damage. I'll take your confession now. Sir, this is Narby's. Oh, there you go. Because there's lots of corpses around, I actually can't tell which ones are alive still. Because the corpses take up so much space and take a while to really sort themselves out. So I kind of just point in the general direction of all the enemies and mash the ability buttons until they until they go off. It's like, eh, they'll find somebody to attack. Yeah, huh? They couldn't shoot me correctly because there was like an overhead mushroom thing blocking their perspective. That's always funny. Quite enough of you. I've had enough of you, so I will now fight this- uh oh. <laughs> it took a while for my interface to come back and I was a little worried it wasn't going to. Nice one. We fighting anything? No? We're good. Hello. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling all right? They shouldn't have stood in our way. You guys really should have. Oh, hi. Thank you for that. You guys probably should have equipped yourselves a little differently. Have you considered not standing in the open when you're on watch, like in the complete open? And then also, when a gunshot is fired, maybe don't continue to stand in the open, or like look around slowly, like whoa. Like, the first thing you're supposed to do is get down. Seems like a reasonable assumption. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Boop. 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 Ouchies. Boom! Headshot! Pravati probably needs a new weapon. And I probably got one by now. 500? That's baby shit. That is straight up baby- that was a 600 right there. But I can probably do better. There we go. There's the big shit. That's a 276, which is not bad for a melee weapon. It's not good, but... When I look at people's weapons, they often have like a 100 still. No, not, over, not overflowing with replacements right now. 
But that, the, these, these things seem, seem so cartoonishly effective that it seems like a dumb idea to ever not just give them to your part, your teammates. I, I do find myself missing, though, proper classes in this game. Like, it's not- it's worth noting the last game I played by these people was Pillars of Eternity. And it's like, we had a party- we had a party of characters that had distinct abilities that made them all different from each other. And, uh... Either they're all basically identical in this game, or... It just doesn't give me any real reason to ever appreciate whatever's different about them. I pretty much just give them the gun with the biggest numbers on it, and they just- and it's the same gun for all of them. Then I give them the armor with the biggest numbers on them, which is also the same armor for everyone. And then I just mash the attack button every now and then during combat. I'm just like, uh, do the super hit now. And then that- and then it's on cooldown now, because they did the super hit. And that's pretty much it. That's- 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 that's the entirety of combat in this game, most of the time. It's- and, uh, the numbers just aren't there to make it particularly threatening. So if there is any depth to be had, I'm not getting a chance to experience it, necessarily. Anyway, let's put my actual armor back on. Cause I just realized I was still running around. Uh, and not that. <laughs> I was wearing my thief armor. And hack that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> what a fucking what a visual. <laughs> Just go sailing through the air and then bounce. Yep. Ooh, that startled me a little bit. That little cutscene. But yeah, this is my last my last chance to record some of this before I'm gone for the weekend, so and the window before my multiplayer session is less than two hours long by a little bit. So these videos will be slightly shorter. Come out, come out. There you go. Are they coming? Hi, friend. I see you're trying to flank me. Oopsie. <laughs> She's just beating him. I didn't even see her there at first. Well, the headshots are definitely doing damage. I may have some. Oh, I, got, I may have slightly underestimated the power of this gun. So I'm kind of enjoying the fact that it's fairly effective at the moment. Ooh. Cost is zero. Rizzo's new purple berry crunch. Now with more of that purple, trademark, flavor you love. Due to emergency precautions, the Rizzo's bridge to success has been sealed. For your safety and safety to others, all access is closed till further notice. I need a hundred hack to open this gate to a place I've already fucking been to before, so it's not even that useful. Fine. Oh yeah, it literally doesn't matter. This is a fast travel spot. I can just fast travel across the bridge back and forth. So this bridge is useless unless a plot reason pops up for me to care about it. But yeah, the, the, I definitely had my diciest fights in this game early on. This game was most dangerous early on when I just wasn't that powerful yet. Even though I haven't really felt like I was doing anything like that was grinding necessarily. Uh... All that junk. There you go. But uh... 
Some of those first buildings I tried to clear through were surprisingly rough, where stuff was just coming at me. Hi. I guess you didn't hear about the gunfight outside. That's fine. You're too busy looting your friend. Oh no, I was a resident. That was not a friend. Aw, how jaunty. But I def th those early episodes definitely had me struggling a bit. And that kind of went away. Is that door sealed? Or do I need to go around? Yeah, it seems like I need to need a way in. Hello, hello, fake Nuka Cola. How you doing? The the Fallout stuff's pretty on the nose with the freaking. Here's our glowing soda. Oh, I thought a prompt didn't come up last time. Hi. Hi. Sorry about the mess, sir. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Authorized users Cecil McLure and Ira Boyd. Rizzo Incorporated Point of Sale Interface. Error. Unable to establish connection to Rizzo Incorporated Monetary Processing. This terminal is now in its default log. Is that isn't it? Yeah. And message viewing mode. February 4th, 2344. Law, help me. Help us all. I saw one. Frothing at the mouth. Barely able to string a word or two together. Walking at me as if to devour me whole. Zora was right. There are monsters here. We need to get out of here if we want to live. Cecil, you aren't insane. There were people once. I don't know what what they are now, Zora. March 11th. Cecil, these crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. 2613, be safe. Who's frothing at the mouth? Talking about these guys, like these regular people I just fought? Gate, access gate unlocked. Please be advised that harm to company assets or personnel as a result of the bridge being opened will be divided and taken away from every Cascadia employee's pay. Androids. Right, that's not the weak spot, my bad. Guys! You don't need to, like, actively stand in- Ah! Oh, shit. What? What? Where the fuck did that guy come from? He must have run past me while I was turning. Because <laughs> they were shooting me to shoot him. But I didn't see him in front of me. I don't- that was, that was like a magic trick. That was like that only- that was like that one moment of Avatar, the bad movie. Uh, The Last Airbender. The only moment of all of Last Airbender that's kind of amusing. Well, now I'm high up. Rizzo's purple berry lunch. They got purple berries, a crackers, and cheese. And the peanuts. Not to be confused with actual peanuts. Disclaimer. Ooh, you guys are can't fight me now. Uh, I'm out of bullets. Your dogs will basically take years to get me up here. Oh, they're coming at me from far away now. Bye bye. Doggy! Nope. This is basically unfair. The game straight up isn't capable of dealing with the fact that there's a wall that I can walk up over here. 
Even my allied AI isn't doing anything right now. Like there's no one's ready for this situation. That was unfortunate. Dougie. Uh, it burns so good. I think those outside guys just gave up on pathing to us. They're like, I don't know, can't just can't get there. I guess we'll give up. Damn. Things went bad around here. You're the one that's comically expensive to upgrade, but you're still doable. Kind of. Yeah, now it's up to the 7k, which is kind of my cutoff point of like, okay, calm down. <laughs> Always be supplied. Is that guy still coming after me? I think he is. Not doing a great job, but he's trying, and that's what I can respect about him. Welcome to Rizzo offices. 2C McClure. 2 Cecil M from Violet H. Subject approved metaphors. Date April 17th, 2342. Cecil, I have received multiple complaints about your interactions with customers. According to these reports, the following phrases have been used when describing Rizzo products being sold at your storefront. If it ain't savings, just call me a Raptodon. Expletive deleted. Raptodon shit? Or something like that? The latest, latest batch is gonna knock you out like a nose full of sulfur. The north end of a southbound woolly cow. These, and others, are not approved metaphors. Please refer to your employee handbook for the list of metaphors allowed when working. Much obliged, Violet Humbert. Please, you only use our existing ideas and nothing else or else. C. McClure. Violet, I have received notice from the following violations. Consumption of non-approved lunch material. Failure to volunteer for voluntary overtime. Sale. <laughs> Failure to volunteer for voluntary overtime. Ah, it hurts. Sale of restricted goods. I contest these violations on the following grounds. I'm allergic to pulpit berry. Making one of our pre-approved purple berry lunch meals will literally kill me. To be candid, it is a miracle I have lived here this long without incident. I can't volunteer for overtime because I've already been assigned overtime shifts. Okay, I'll fess up to, s to selling restricted goods. You got me there. Selling soap to a man who stinks so bad I can't smell the sulfur around him is going is against the rules. Fine, I won't do it anymore. Cecil. To Bartleby. Wrapped it on sightings. Miss Bartleby, I am writing to inform you that multiple employees have filed Form R441 perceived danger to human resources through my office. It appears that wrapped it on sightings are growing more and more frequent. As Rizzo Incorporated has not responded to our request for safety equipment, a level of concern and, dare I say it, restlessness grows among the workers. Any indication as to the truth of these sightings, or the rumors that Rizzo Incorporated is no longer supporting our efforts here, will go a long way towards improving company morale. Thank you, Violet. From Z Blackwood. Simon needs soap. Violet, please, we are we are all begging you. For the love of all that is good and just, please let Cecil sell soap to Simon again. He's got some kind of condition. I don't rightly know what it is, but I've smelled corpses with a finer odor than this. Zora. Ah, uh, they all used to work here until things went to shit. What throws me off is this place is called Cascadia. Everyone keeps talking about a disaster that happened in in uh, Amber Heights. But like, this is the place where a bunch of people we know used to work until something bad happened. I'm a little surprised this isn't Amber Heights. Or that people don't refer to Cascadia all the time. 
Like, Zora is one of the borderline leaders of the Iconoclasts. Oopsie. And uh, this is where she worked. As, as is many others until something bad happened. But no one really talks about it. As far as I can remember. Or maybe I'm just mixing them up. Boop. Rude. Damn, there's mines out here. I thought you guys already cleared through here. Jesus Christ, that's sneaky. Just out of line of sight, the way the stairs work. Hmm. I bet you go somewhere interesting. Alright, so I've already successfully found the, yeah, gift provided the food. I guess I could just talk to her right now. Hi. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. I don't remember picking that up. I, I just remember him saying it'll be done in an hour. Huh. You're welcome. Shouldn't you be get shouldn't you get ready for June Lay now? Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. You have anything in particular in mind? I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jolliker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Another new place we've never been to before. We're gonna have to beat the game basically to finish this quest. You know we can't get into Byzantium, right? Not today, no, but maybe someday. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aetherwave and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Competent. All right, we'll swing by when we can. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. All right, now back to the actual, like, borderline heist. That's the Nyoka situation. It's like all the way back to there, yeah. Should have done that while I was there. I just have too many quests to keep straight in my head at the same time. There you go, the secret lab in Cascadia. Just right back where we came from. So going to this door doesn't seem to matter much. It's still sealed on this side. Huh. I didn't accomplish a ton, did I? But that looks crazy down there. Ooh. Rizzo's gate control system. Chasm generators, 32% capacity. Open northern gate. Ah. Rizzo's Cascadia. And it's already cleared out because I've already been here before, so this is like kind of anticlimactic. I don't know. I once again find myself somewhat confused by the fact that they let me do these places in this order. Does this work? It looks like it works. Hmm. Let's finish the local quest first. Because then I'll know whether or not it t then tells me to go there right afterwards or something. This place is a mess. Come out and play. Watch out, His head exploded. We're fine. Really tragic how his head exploded. Somebody should look into that. 
come out and play. <laughs> what? Oh, there's somebody upstairs. For now. Can I see him from it from here? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, that's a care of him. Alrighty then. Don't mind me just clicking on people's heads and deleting them. Rizzo's candy has been scientifically proven to not give cavities. Fine, five out of five Rizzo's company doctors agree. You have been on shift for 88,536 hours. Cecil McClure, you have earned a five minute break. Why not enjoy a knock you out bar? Supervisor override. Password required for this action. Antediluvian. Enabling elevator. Oh, the one that I saw before, probably? View current inventory. Zero. Dark matter bar. Purple berry. Blah, 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 blah. RB tubes. Retro rockets. Lemon. Yeah, there's a bunch of things. Then none of them are in stock. Begin transaction. Did you greet the customer by saying, Welcome to Rizzo's Sweet Shop? We've got your candy handy. How can we sweeten your day? <clears throat> yes. Have you offered the customer a slap? Sales of lemon slap are down. Remind your customers how refreshing a good slap is. Try saying, Thirsty friend? Nothing beats a zesty slap. Yes. Error retrieving current inventory. Transaction cancelled. Ah. Attempts were made. Oh, that's the elevator I just turned on, which is different from the one I saw on the bridge. So I'll still stay curious about that for a bit longer. I, I never want to work retail again, like ever. <clears throat> all the all the upselling, all the manipulation you're supposed to give your customer and all that. And just the soullessness of it day in and day out. It's, I think it's, I think that's part of the reason why I'm not one of those YouTubers. It's like, <laughs> and they're just like freaking out for an entire video and shouting and putting a face on and throwing slogans around and and it's also why I'm not that kind of Twitch streamer or not stream. Well, I'm not a Twitch streamer at all. But when I stream on YouTube, I just hang out and play a game and commentate and and talk to my friends and don't do any of the like. <laughs> thanks for seven months of the uh, uh, join, thanks for the dog join the dog army of the uh, and things and it's like I I know I specifically am running from that life you can't take me back <laughs> all right take me to hell what could go wrong many things can go wrong Disclaimer, you're going to die. What exactly is nine pointing at? I gotta ask. Cause it's from a, it's coming out of a location where it really seems like I should be pixelating it. Lab, all right. this place has more dust than sweetener now. But like I, I feel for that poor guy in the in the in the fucking jack in the box head so hard. Yeah. If I change my shirt, I can open that door. Video games. Huh? Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Disengage security protocols. I'm not a threat. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Oh, don't make me kill you. I like your color scheme. Uh, I'm not good enough at lying. Damn it. Wait, wait. Unprime weapons. Unprime. Weapons primed. Engaging. Rude. I'm gonna close this door. I'll never stand a chance against door. 
ERB, you want to crouch behind this thing. Okay, crouch better. I want to be able to shoot around it. Come and get me. And they... Uh, w was I right about them being defeatable by doors? Yes, apparently. That's a butt. How's everyone feeling today? I am feeling downright dandy. What's that? Oh, the mantisaur. They were in kill all mants mode. Do you not have ID? You must die now. What a great company policy. Big fan. Can't help it. Love to see it happen. No, oh, I guess I didn't need to hack it open. Because I just had to go slightly around a little bit to get in, in anyway. Saves me a shirt change. Signal A does land on the Cascadia pad. Sure, why not? Fuel controls. The closest functioning terminal with free fueling authorization is located above the, the Flavor R&D lab. Messages. From redacted, see? In response, uh, I mean, in response to see you on the station. To Chartrand E. You will not see me, but I will be close. Continue your research, doctor. Report to me when you have achieved a mission end state. I understand we're bound for a secondary lab. Will you be supervising our research this time, or will it be the standard work from the shadows routine? So now we're back to the multiple messages per message thing. There's, n there, there's, not, there's nothing even approaching a standardization of how messages are are displayed in this game from terminal to terminal. Like they're written by different people. To fall and... Or fall L. Subject getting there. Thank you for your optimism, Lore. What we're doing isn't easy under the best of circumstances, much less with the board cutting corners. I can promise you that our research will lead to a better Halcyon, even if we have to pay a terrible cost getting there. Ava. From redacted subject... Effects of O2 r rationing on native fauna. From Chartrand E to Redacted. With all respect, I urge you to reconsider your decision to classify our research results on the native fauna of Terra 1. I assure you that I will diligently reda redact any references to our project or its purpose from any papers we release. We have made several discoveries about how, ter the, terraforming how the terraforming process affects the nuclein of the Raptodon and Manta families. At the very least, allow us to inform our fellow board researchers that these creatures will perish when O2 concentrations are reduced to 19.5%, a level within human tolerance. This is not about fame or prestige, this is about potentially saving lives. Please. Oh. That's interesting. If you set to oxygen to a certain percentage that's within livable range by humans, all of these predators just die off. You have your orders. Doctor, your project is too important, too sensitive to allow any hint of it to reach the public. We just gained, like, information that changes the world around us, potentially. We're back here again. Boy, is it purple in here. Why does it feel like the Power Rangers movie all of a sudden? Ivan Ooze. Hi! They're probably friendly. I have been in worse public restrooms.